Hi everyone, it's Rob at ASFC Chemistry and I'm going to be going through in just a moment a couple of the important features about transition metal complex ions and what makes a monodentate ligand and a bidentate ligand. So a ligand is a molecule or ion which donates a lone pair of electrons to form a coordinate bond, or you can say dative covalent bond, to a transition metal ion. Now the most common transition metal ions you're going to see at A level are copper 2 plus ions, cobalt 2 plus ions, and either iron 2 plus or iron 3 plus. Now a monodentate ligand means it bites once. And so the most common example of that is a molecule of water. Now, a molecule of water, for instance, then, you can see that the molecule of water has got two lone pairs of electrons, and one of these lone pairs is going to form a coordinate bond to a transition metal ion. Hopefully, the 3D shape looks familiar to you. This 3D shape is octahedral. All of these water molecules have formed coordinate bonds, and because I have six coordinate bonds, the coordination number of this complex ion is six. So the coordination number is not the number of ligands, it's the number of coordinate bonds. They might seem to be the same thing, but if we look at the example of a bidentate ligand, so for instance, here's this structure. So I've lifted this directly off a complex ion. So the formula for this bidentate ligand, it's got an NH2 at this end, Sorry for the confusing use of the blues here for different atoms, but then what we've got is CH2 is in the middle and another NH2 on this side here. Now this is often referred to as ethyl diamine or we can call it 1,2-diaminoethane. What we've got here is at either end of the molecule a nitrogen with a lone pair of electrons. And this is going to form two separate coordinate bonds. And so if I cluster these around a transition metal ion, we have this rather large structure here. Now, if we look at this carefully, we can see the transition metal ion in the middle is still octahedral. Bond angle is 90 degrees there. And we can see that since it's octahedral, it's got six coordinate bonds from these nitrogens clustered around the structure. That means the coordination number for this, even though it looks so different from the monodentate ligand example we saw a minute ago using waters, even though it looks so different, it still has a coordination number of six. Its formula though would be written differently. Now often in the exam, they will let you shorthand this entire structure to just EN. But only do that if they let you do it, or if they mention it in the question. They often say, you can abbreviate this structure to EN. For instance, then, if I was to write the water-containing one, so let's say my metal is copper, let's say it's copper 2 plus specifically, if I write the water-containing one, my complex ion formula looks like this. Whereas if I write the 1,2-diaminoethane formula, even though they have the same coordination number, they have a different number inside their formula since this one is now surrounded by bidentate ligands. Specifically, we would say a bidentate ligand then, for definition's sake, is a molecule or molecular ion which donates two lone pairs from different atoms within the structure to form two coordinate bonds with a transition metal ion. These two structures, just to repeat, have the same coordination number, but they have a different written formula in terms of how many ligands are required, and this can be misleading. So lots of people see the three here and think that's the coordination number, but that's just not true. You have to make sure you think about what the structure looks like. I hope that clears up any questions you have about what is a ligand and what is a complex ion. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave us a comment below or you can tweet us at ASFC underscore chemistry.